This is the work of Joe Mills. Joe Mills is an illustrator. Uh, he's he's well known for his use of typography or different types of fonts or styles of lettering to create his images. And what he does in his illustrations is he adds sort of layers of meaning by incorporating loads of words and symbols related to the subject to form the image. Now in this image of Chance the Rapper, we see not just the, the words forming the image, but pay attention to how the use of color and the value, the shading, helps to affect it. I, I love how Jill Mill shows a little bit of that process, and he even shares his sketches, his rough drafts, so we can see the work take hold and take shape and how it transforms as he adds colors, as he add, adds each individual element. Now, you will notice he also uses different weights of lines, different thicknesses within the fonts, which helps to create a, a sort of implied range of values. And what I love about his work overall is he focuses on what he likes. He loves the city of Chicago and pop culture. He creates these illustrations that have a sense of energy and that enthusiasm, that passion for what he likes. As you choose your subject for your work, focus on things that you like. What are you passionate about? What makes you happy? So for my drawing, I decided to draw a soccer ball and a person actually kicking a soccer ball. I wanted to have a more complex image. You could focus on just one simple subject matter or you could try to show some action happening. Um, but I wanted to show a few things to repeat the strategy. So I start off with the simple shapes and then I draw letters stretching to fill the shapes. Like I've got the word ball inside the ball, foot inside the foot, but it could also be just associated things. So inside the leg, instead of writing leg, I wrote kick because we could have either a label for what the actual image is or associated words describing the action, things like that, adjectives, any sorts of things you want to make connections. Kind of the way that I like there's a connection between foot and ball. So it almost sort of says football in the composition as well. Um, because that's what the rest of the world calls soccer. And in here, I am filling the sky. I'm using multiple words, bright, blue, and then I'm going to write sky. And I also wanted to demonstrate, you'll pay attention, if you pay attention to how I color this, um, the color helps to create contrast so bright and sky don't run into each other anymore after all of this is done. So now after I've sketched everything out, what I'm going to do is start to color it in. And with the soccer ball, I'm going to use black and white to um, go along with the traditional color scheme of a soccer ball. So I'm going to color all the negative spaces in the ball black, leave the lettering white. And then to create a little bit of a visual connection, I'm going to use black on the foot, but I'm going to, in this case, invert that. So I've got the solid black on the lettering for foot. I chose to use a strategy of using markers on the lettering so that the the letters would stand out and I can create sort of like a monochromatic design using different shades of blues on the lettering for bright versus the, the lettering for blue, uh, a slightly different hue of blue or a different sort of, you might say a different shade of blue on there. and. So that helps to create that little bit of contrast while still being unified. There's still blues, just different blues. And then in the negative space around that, I'll use crayons to get a little bit softer um, blue or brown or black or green, whatever the, the appropriate color might be. But I'm using different tools, mixing media, to create different sorts of intensities of that same color. So I've got... I've got different blacks, different greens, different blues. It's sort of like each of those parts is a monochromatic color scheme, different shades of the same color to fill it in so that the letters still stand out, but they're unified with the rest of the design because of that same color scheme. What I want you to do in your project is I want you to Start off by sketching a subject that you really like, that you enjoy, that you're passionate about. Sketch it as a collection of simple shapes. 
Then I want you to stretch letters to fill the shapes with text. I, part of the, the challenge of this is going beyond just writing to, to label things, but using text, using font, creating fonts that are artful, that actually are a part of the design and even go so far as to say they create the design. After you've done that, you're going to color you using your choice of media, but I would really recommend trying to create different shades of the same colors so that the words will still stand out from the, from the background. You want it to stand out but still be a part of the design, and a monochromatic approach is a good way to do that.